it on. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, family. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you all. I hope we are all enjoying our Sunday. We're excited to be here again. And first of all, let me apologize for uh, us not be able, for us, you know, that we're not able to come up online yesterday as a result of um, so many engagement. I had a conference and um, just because of that, we couldn't make it. And we're glad this morning that we are here and we're excited to talk to us and just to share our moment again. And remember that the only reason why we're doing what we're doing is you. And I just want to, you know, encourage you to comment below and um, feel free to share this link so that others can, you know, be able to benefit from whatever we'll be discussing today. Um, last time we talked about the roles of um, parents or the roles of fathers and leaders in a family. And today we're just going to continue with that and transition into four reasons why we need to create a family vision or family statement, you know, something that will guide the family. But before we go into that, I just want to say that one of the roles of a husband is to provide. And we talked about it in that video that is to provide. And sometimes we just limit it with having to provide with bringing paycheck and just paying for house rent and just doing those things that a father will have to do like those macho things like you know like um you know somebody who can lift heavy things and all of that it goes far beyond that if you look up the word provide and go into understanding better it talks about clarity it talks about foresight it talks about vision so it simply means is also being able to provide a vision a straight line for the family to follow you know something that will guide the family so that is one of the things we'll be talking about today four reasons why you need to create a vision statement for your family so having a shared vision, a shared um, sense of values uh -huh. and purpose, it bonds parents uh -huh. and children together. Absolutely. It guides the parenting. Uh -huh. It helps you um, to make decisions, offers the children clear ideas Absolutely. to thrive uh -huh. so that for guidance in what choices they make. So this will go in the long run to help you to create standards by which each member of the family can evaluate each other's behavior absolutely. and children's and parents absolutely. can ideally check in and encourage one another so a that's one of the reasons why you need to um think about you know the having a, a, and all that uh, absolutely so we're just gonna go ahead and pray right Heavenly Father, we thank you this afternoon for such a beautiful moment. We ask you, Lord, to breathe upon this time, on this moment, and we pray for our listeners. We pray for those who will run into this video later on and those who will join in this broadcast today. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to speak to us, minister to us, and Lord, in this area of ministry, with having to have a clear vision for the reason why we are here, why we are building a family, that you will give us a sense of purpose and Lord clarity in our talks today, that at the end we will say only those things that will inspire, edify, encourage your people, and we'll be careful to return all the glory and honor to you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, thank you guys. Um, you know, we're excited to, you know, to just dive in into this topic four reasons right. why you need a vision, vision statement, statement you know for your family and, and I'll just um, bring you know bring this to a more um, light let me bring you know some more light to this for you to work in a company you know most companies out there I remember when I started my first job here in the United States even far back in Nigeria they want to make sure you understand the vision statement of this company because it will help you. They want to show you your path into this company. They want to show you what you are supposed to do, your responsibilities and why you should do what you do. You know, uh, and that kind of will guide you with making decisions and the things you do every single day. 
And we want to bring that also into our families. You know, one of yeah, the that's reasons like said that our family is gonna be run like a business. Absolutely, so absolutely. We have the CEO, we have mm -hmm. the vice president, and then now we have the employees. Absolutely. Yeah. One of the reasons today why it's important for you to create a vision statement for your family is to give your family a sense of purpose and identity. Mm -hmm. Sense of purpose and identity. It is very, very necessary to be able to give your family a sense of purpose. Mm -hmm. Why are they part of this family? Mm -hmm. And also to give them identity. And we all know that your family, you know, is also an identity. Wherever you are coming out from, like your village is also part of your identity. When we want to know you, we want to know which family, who is your dad, who is your mother. That will just help to explain who you are. That will just help to introduce a little bit more about you. Let's say your family, will, your, you know, your family, there are some families out there. They have so much integrity. They have so much respect in the society. So with just you saying the name of your dad or the name of your mom, people can say, oh, we know your dad. We know your mom. So a family creating a vision statement gives your family sense of purpose. And it gives them the grace to have clarity in life. Mm -hmm. It gives them clarity. You know, your children will not just be there and they are just they don't they don't have anything to run with and if you read the bible the book of habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 the bible talks about it say write a vision and make it clear so that whoever that runs with this vision can run with this message he will not run with the wrong message so creating a family vision statement gives the family a family culture mm -hmm which is just like um, core values for the family. You know, my children, we talk about it every day. Hey, guys, we don't lie. We are not supposed to lie. Mm -hmm. You know, we are not supposed to lie. We are not supposed to say things that we shouldn't say. We're supposed to respect yes. people. We're supposed to fear the Lord. In this house, Honor or to honor God is our number one priority. They know. And it's just a way to bring them into having a feeling of something huge, that they are part of this family. It makes them feel special to know that in this family, there is, there is a covering here. We have a family. We need to create this vision. And we, it has to be very clear. Right. We have to write it down. It, we have to be very precise about it. We have to, you know, make them to understand these things, that this is our value. And it is very, very important. I don't know if you wanted to add anything to that. Well, um, the core values, right. they are very important. Absolutely. And the family culture. Because Absolutely. wherever you come from, is it becomes a culture to you. Mm -hmm. you, know, like mm -hmm. you. You have some things that you do that other families don't. Absolutely. So when you're able to create that vision, you give them that sense of family culture. Mm -hmm. They know, okay, this is how my family does this. Mm -hmm. This is what my family do. Mm -hmm. My family takes us... Um, in the we have like a family date night mm -hmm. or we have like a time where we spend time right, to study right, the word of right, god right. you know this is what we used to do together. yes absolutely you know so it gives them that sense of belonging it absolutely. gives them the sense of them knowing what to do so they can easily check on each other's behavior like right. i said earlier and then they can also check on your behavior as a parent absolutely. you know to tell absolutely. You, you're not doing what you have on that paper you absolutely. know like you need to be able to tell us you tell us what to do you need to show us how to do it so. so so we're saying it has to be very very clear yes. you know you have to put it in a black and white paper so that everybody will understand i could just remember right quick which of you know you were part of this i remember when you came you know when we we're getting ready to get married you came to my family house you know you had to sleep with you know with my parents and you know my family you remember as early as 5, 5 a.m. in the morning, you're going to hear a bell. bell. Get up. <laughs> My dad is already <laughs> ringing a bell. Everybody, you need to get up. It's not something, it's not like it. Oh, my daddy, I'm sleepy. <laughs> you have to get up. Once you hear that bell, 
that was part of my family you know family you know it, it, you know it, it was a family culture it became part of us that we know once it's five o'clock we are getting up we need to get up to go have a moment with God, a morning devotion, a family altar. That was such a very big thing. So what we're saying today, we might be, we might already have like a vision statement, but we need to make Mention. it clear. Yes. Because whatever you write out is very it, easier for people when people, you know, can see those things. Like if you come to our house today, you will see the scriptures all over all our over house. house yeah. And it fascinates people when they come to our house, they see these things. And they're like, so how did you guys come about this? And it's been here ever since we moved into this little place that God gave us. It's part of our vision statement, training our children in the ways of God. Yes. And, and the second thing is give them something to run with. Mm. You know, like they said, create the vision and then give them a message that mm. they can run with. Mm. So we wanted to talk about missions here because you are a... You are meant for mission. Mm -hmm. You are meant for service. Mm -hmm. You know, and that brings us to Joshua chapter twenty four verse fifteen, where mm. it says, "I and my family will serve the Lord." Say, "Choose you this day who you will serve." Mm. Me, myself, my mm. family. He didn't just say, "I alone will mm -hmm. serve the Lord." He mm -hmm. said, "I and my family will mm -hmm. serve the Lord." Mm -hmm. You know, so is a path, and they say service is a pathway to greatness. greatness. So Absolutely. when you learn. Um, to put that vision down when you write it down, mm -hmm. it helps you to know, okay, I am, my family is meant for vision, mm -hmm. for mission. mission. It doesn't really matter what part of the missions you are going to do. Right, right. Some people are, are meant that they're going to travel to another part of the world. Right, so right, 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 right. Yours might just be for you to be able to help your community. Yours Absolutely. Yours might just be for you to serve your family. Absolutely. Yours might just be for you to serve a local church Absolutely. to be part of something bigger than yourself. Ab Absolutely. And that is so profound that you say service is the pathway to greatness. Mm -hmm. You know, just being able to inculcate in our family mm -hmm. that we are not just here to, you know, send you to school, that you are on mission. Mm -hmm. As you go to school, you're on mission. As you leave this house to get a job, you are on mission. Mm -hmm. Just having sense of mission, that life is not just, you know, when we talk about missions, we only reason it out to be like when you go out there right. and you just, you know, you know, you are serving actively full time in ministry that maybe you go to a strange land where nobody knows you to preach the gospel and the message of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is just another aspect of it. Right. Another way we can, you know, help our family to know that we are men on vision, we are people on, on, you know, on vision, on mission, is to help them, to give them that thing so that they can run with it. As wherever they go, wherever they enter, they are running with a message. Once they enter into a company, into a place, they know, oh, these people must be different. This person is different. He doesn't talk like every other person. I mean, he has a sense of mission. There is something that yes. is burning inside of yes. me, yes. you know, so that that's a beautiful thing, you know. So that is why we are saying these are one of the reasons why, you need to why we need to statement. create a vision statement. We are not t talking about how to write it, but the, the need, the reason why we should have a need, you know, the need to um, write a, a vision statement for the family. Then the third one, let's talk about the third one. And the third one is just that your family is a ministry. Our family is a ministry, is a training ground, is a ministry. When you help your children to know that the family is not just a place to um, have a vision, it's not just a place for mission, it's also a place for training. Mm -hmm. You know, when you when you inculcate this idea to help your family know that we are a ministry. Mm. I see people, you know, uh, um, that 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 you know exalts and just only see like they better serve in the church, but they are not integral part of their family. 
they cannot serve. There are people they will serve in church. They will do all kinds of things for Jesus, but they are not willing to do it for their own exactly. family. Yes. They are not productive in their own family. That is a wrong ideology. And if I could understand, you know, when Jesus, not only Jesus, when, when Paul was talking about the church, the only thing that he could relate the church to be is the family, husband and wife, family. You know, it says that you can use the family to equate just the same way God sees church. church yes. You know, church is just, you know, another version of a family. And that's just another little way. So if you're going to serve in ministry in church and you've not learned family, right? the way to serve your family and to know that your family is a ministry. If you don't know how to serve your husband, if you don't know how to serve your wife and your children, and your children giving them, like we talked the other time, the gift of time, mm -hmm. it's going to be difficult for you to serve elsewhere. Yeah. You know, if you cannot serve in your family, if you cannot serve in your family, it's going to be difficult for you to serve in a company out there. Like, let's say you are working in a company. You don't understand that service is one big thing. That your is a core value. Yes. I need to serve here. I mean, it's going to be difficult. If you read the scriptures, that is Proverbs chapter 22, I believe verse um, 20. Six or something, six. yeah, 20, 22 verse six, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, Proverbs, he was talking about train oh, up a child, child in the way he should go. So, your family is a training ground, is a place to train, is a place to, for them to train. You don't have to wait until your child gets out there and they That's are faced with challenges of public speaking. Your children cannot, they are shy, they cannot talk. I know that, you know, there are people that are naturally introverts, but your family is a ground for you to train them so that they can start reading in front of their siblings. Like, okay, we're yeah. gonna read. Yeah, like we, we do it with the kids. We Absolutely. Make sure that they pray <laughs> oh my in God. front of us. The, yeah, they, they, they just started. This morning, like, I mean, know, yeah, they, they had to all pray. pray. All, of, all them of them pray in front of us. Yeah. You know, so not when they go out there and then they tell them to do stuff and they are faced yeah. with shyness or they can't do it you mm -hmm. know you see how they do it here mm -hmm. it helps them gives them the confidence Sense of that confidence when they get out there that they can do better absolutely you know so and also in jeremiah 31 verse 33 and mm -hmm. hebrews chapter 10 verse 6 repeated saying, just the same thing said, this is a covenant i will make with them after mm -hmm. says the lord mm -hmm. you know that I will put the laws in their hearts. Absolutely. And I will write it on their minds. So just the same thing of you saying, mm -hmm. train up a child in mm -hmm. the way they should go. When mm -hmm. they are old, they will not depart from it. So this is God saying that this is a covenant. Mm. This is, family is a covenant. Mm. Family is where you Absolutely. bond together. Absolutely. Where you share ideas, mm -hmm. where you share your vision. Right. You know, and like we said, that shared um, sense of values and purpose bonds parents and children together absolutely you know, once you have that it helps you to be able to know and talk about things right you know like right, you can imagine right. when you are talking to your children they already know some they, of these they, they things relate. they, they can, can relate, relate. like today we had all this list of questions that oh was going god. up oh in, my god in family devotion yeah we we, like, we we, we spend know, almost one hour something 30 to, minutes trying to you know questions. answer questions you know? coming from my little children you know, in fact, one of the things my child said, I had to pause at that moment. I had to, you remember what yeah, happened? Yeah, yeah. You know, my son was asking me, Daddy, if devil is this bad, why didn't just God destroy, destroy him? him? You know? So we don't have to talk about him anymore. And so we don't have to talk about the devil. I said, son, you know, we don't talk too much about the devil. We try to focus um, you know what God can do. I had to like, okay, God, you know. God, you just have to pray. God, you can, you know, you can do all things. God, you can do all things. You can kill the devil. That's what my son is saying. I mean, it was really a moment that, I mean, we, I, I can always like remember these moments and treasure them in my heart. And when we talk about training, it's not just me imposing my ideology mm -hmm. on them. Yeah. It's not just me trying to force them. One of the most beautiful way you can train people is to demonstrate what you are yes, talking about. It, it, you know, it's so beautiful that you are able 
to 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 showcase whatever you are talking about so the training is very 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 important it gives them sense of confidence it gives them opportunity it gives them privilege to serve in your family so they can learn and one of the ways you can engage your children is to say hey guys today we want to go out i mean my children today they already there are some like homeless people they want to make sure oh are they still here daddy okay we can go get a sweater i mean these are discussions my children these are children below six you know six and below you know they're already talking about oh daddy we need to go do this and it's really you know becoming part of them that they need to serve mm -hmm. you know when they start having this kind of ideology it gives them sense of responsibility yes that's it so we're gonna go to the you know yeah, so the last one you already mentioned it right. last one is modeling and replicating ourselves mm. you know so you said it's, it's not just to tell them mm -hmm. or to train them on what to do right but you also have to show them what to do mm -hmm. to be an example to mm -hmm. them to be able to reproduce your kind mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. this is where we got this um genesis chapter 1 verse 26 mm -hmm. says reprodu reproducing your kind so i'll just go ahead and um, read it right quick mm -hmm. it says and god says let us make man in our image mm -hmm. after our likeness mm -hmm. and let him have dominion over the fish of the sea mm -hmm. over the fowl of the earth mm -hmm. and over the cattle mm -hmm. and all over all mm -hmm. the earth mm -hmm. and over every creeping thing that wow. creepeth upon the earth wow. so we are not just having to do a, a mission a vision statement but here this is part of us reproducing what god has asked but us before do. before you you know dive into that you know um god you know was creating man with a sense of purpose knowing that hey i need to replicate myself right make man in his i need age. to you know model myself here what is the influence that will influence your children tomorrow mm -hmm. you know if if you are not able to you know demonstrate whatever we're talking about it's okay to write the vision statement it's okay to you know like to showcase whatever it is but if you're not able to model it it's difficult right. we can complain about you know our children what they are not doing right what they are doing wrong and all of that you know and you're not able to model that same thing you're talking about it becomes a problem and if you don't model for them the world would do, you know, uh, and that's where, you know, like when they understand the core value of the family, it helps them. I mean, it helps them to make decisions of the kind of life they want to have. Right. You know, what we're saying today was not like what we're doing today was not just an accident. It was a very careful, you know, idea that yeah. God gave to us. This is what we're doing today is not something we started after we got married. This is what we talked about even before we got married. Mm -hmm. It was one of the, you know, things driving us. And one of the, you know, things that is driving us is for us to see our children become like us, become like God, you know, to reproduce yeah. our kind. Right. And that is one of the reasons why we have this group is to also replicate ourselves here is also for us to share what we are doing in our own home right. so that you can also replicate the same thing and to see the result come true in your family right. so we want to encourage us today mm -hmm. if your family have not you know had a written clear vision statement. vision statement for the family we want to encourage you today to begin, you know, like, you know, have your husband, have your wife set up a meeting, set up a meeting for the family. And we are not talking about how to do it. We may want to come up with, you know, like another, um, you know, video or something to talk about how to okay. create that family vision. But what we're just talking about today, the need, the reason why is it's important, it's important for us to create a family vision statement so that it will be something that will guide us 
it will be something that will help us to navigate navigate through life right. because if we don't the world will model for them if you don't talk to your children about things that are happening in the world they will meet those things by by sudden you know by all of a sudden and it will take them out if they are not properly prepared so right. we just want to encourage us to know that we are here to replicate ourselves and i want my wife to go ahead and just read the vision statement of this group the reason why we're doing what we're doing we keep saying is for you and what do we mean by that we have a mission statement in this group and if you go into the about you will see these things so honey go right. ahead so um our commitment is to intentionally live for god so thereby reflecting god's image mm. and exercising his mandate mm -hmm. to have dominion on earth absolutely and this is where we have our uh, genesis chapter 1 verse 26 that mm -hmm. i read earlier it says mm -hmm. god said let us make man in our image mm -hmm. after our likeness mm -hmm. and let them have dominion mm -hmm. over the fish of the sea mm -hmm. and over the fowl of the air mm -hmm. and over the cattle mm -hmm. and over the earth mm -hmm. and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth and then our mission is to see the kingdom of god be established and populate the earth with god's, god's children, children through our influence in our respective homes so once you are ab we're able to you know replicate ourselves you are able to share all that god has given to you to someone else in your family mm. in your in your villages in your neighborhood in everywhere you go your light will shine yeah so it's what what it means it will just bring us to our norm you know our common phrase becoming the right, right person. person you know just to see the earth populate with god's children mm -hmm. it's not going to happen by chance mm -hmm. it's going to happen when you become the transformation you are waiting to see in your world right. when you are transformed it is easy for you to transform another person without even knowing right. you know so it doesn't happen when you just talk about it and preach about it it will happen when you are able to live it out and you will see that simple thing happen what happened in in our lives how god transformed us not by us trying to change one another but by allowing the change to happen in us and that change that happened in us has brought about transformation in our lives and it's not just only us is influencing others it's touching lives you know today and we are excited to tell you that we are not there yet we are trusting god to continue to become the right people that god has called us to be so we encourage and challenge you today to go back to your respective homes home and, and create a vision statement and if possible read it every morning read it to your children and let them understand that we are here to live a life on a mission, a life full of purpose, a life full of vision, a life full of, you know, service, that this is the essence of life. So marriage and family is not just for us to have babies, train them, them you know, go to school become and, all, and, and, become, <laughs> and become lawyers and come back to us and give us millions and dollars and all of that. Yeah. It's far beyond that. Yes. The idea of God is for God to create something right. that will look like him. Mm. And, and I just want to ask you today, whatever you are you know, doing, does it look like God? your creator god is not going to do it by force and i just want to enjoy you to go back today and take that baby step i'm not asking you to run i'm not asking you to walk if you can start just by crawling you know these are three major stages that children go through if you are not there yet i just want to encourage you to write a family vision and start praying about it and say god let this vision overwhelm us you know, let this be the essence why we should be happy in this house. And that will even give your children things to do. They will not come back being depressed. I'm not saying that things will not happen. And I'm not guaranteeing that, oh, when you do this, yeah. you know, it's going to eradicate every problem. But it's a process for you to give God opportunity to come in. And it's something you have to prayerfully do. It's not just something that I wake up and say, okay, this that you have to allow god to you know god has to reveal himself to you and this is mainly for 
the, 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 the husband is so important because you are the leader. You have a spiritual role to provide vision and clarity to your family. So we just want to encourage us to be intentional today in making sure that our family is part of something greater than us in our little home. Yes. That we might want to become something you know, bigger than us, something that will consume us, something that will set us on fire and just for us to run and, and achieve greater things for, for destiny, you know, in our lives and see great things happen. So we want to just thank God for today and we're going to um, go ahead and um, pray us out. And yeah. Thank um, you for tuning in and right. if you think you were blessed by this right make sure you share absolutely we appreciate absolutely okay thank you guys we're gonna go ahead and pray all right let's pray honey so we want to hold our hands together here today and holding our hands together who want to believe god for your family right there could be somebody here um your family is still struggling with so many things that you are saying we are not even there yet. Yes. My my husband can't even listen to this. Yes. He, he, you know, my wife don't want to hear this. I just want to encourage you to be patient yes. with God. Yes. Let the transformation begin with you. Amen. Don't don't just complain and say a whole lot of things wrong with your husband. Remember that the transformation has to start with someone, and somebody has to be the sacrifice. Yes. Just like Jesus became the offering for salvation Hallelujah. and today we have all over the world Amen. believers and christians just because one person gave himself as a ransom so become the sacrifice in yes. your family and you will see god do amazing things so Amen. we're just gonna pray heavenly Amen. father we thank you today Amen. we give you praise for this opportunity for us to share these words of encouragement dear lord we thank you for the grace you've given to us Lord, we may not have said these things in a way that it will be so clear to your people. But we ask you, blessed Holy Spirit, Amen. to help us go beyond our words, go beyond our voices, go beyond whatever we have said this afternoon. Lord, I pray today that you will, oh God, ignite in us Amen. the fire, the essence of our lives Amen. for us to come to this simple reality to know that before we were formed in our mother's Amen. womb that yes, you Lord. knew us Amen. you had an intention yes, for our lives Amen. you had a purpose for our destiny yes. you had a reason for creating us you had a reason for choosing us to be part of that family yes, Lord. and Lord we ask you today for us to come to this conviction that we are not an accident even though we may have entered into this world by accident yes. that we are not an accident. Amen. Lord, we pray today that your purpose be revealed in our yes, lives. Lord, your amen. purpose be revealed in our families. Your purpose be revealed in wherever we are today, Lord, that will replicate people that looks like us, oh God, that will be intentional about our yes, lives Lord. and will reproduce and populate the earth with God's children yes, and Lord. see your kingdom being established in our families and our homes, oh God. We thank you today. We pray for families that are here today. Are there families who are going through difficult times? Lord, where are things financially, emotionally, issues and things that are hurting them. We ask you, Heavenly Thank Father, you, to step in and let there be victory. We ask you to step in and let there be transformation. We thank, thank you today for giving us the heart of Jesus that will reflect the light of him who has called us out of darkness yes, into Lord. his marvelous light. Amen. We just thank you today. We thank, thank you because Jesus. you love us thank and you Lord. want to see greater things happen in our family. Lord, we just thank you today. Thank Thank you, Thank you, Father, for your grace. Yes, Thank Lord. you for your beauty being Amen. radiating in our lives today. And we just give you praise and glory. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Thank you, guys, for watching. Thank you for just hanging out with us. Like my wife said, feel free to share. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, comment if you're blessed today. And we just want to tell you that we love you all. And we want to see God continue to do amazing things. We can't wait to receive testimonies yes. of what God is Amen. doing in our lives because our intention is not just to come here and talk, but we want to see transformation happen in our lives. Amen. Thank you once again for hanging out with us and stay blessed and have a wonderful week. Yes, a wonderful Sunday. Thank you, guys. Yes, we love you. Have a good one. Awesome. God bless. Bye. Uh -huh.